crucified and bury me All in my head hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video we are going to crush this soda can and using the ansys explicit dynamics so let's get started with this uh, model uh, presented over here so we have a uh, three total bodies one is a surface second one is uh, my fixtures which i will use to perform the explicit dynamic simulation so this object will come down uh, come down in, in this direction and this will crush my soda can so let's get started so I have created this uh, surface geometry you can give thickness in ANSYS and these are two solid models I have created and I have converted this file into step file and you can directly import this file into ANSYS which I have uh, imported right so first you have to import the geometry like this okay you have this geometry then you can click on the surface parameters also you you if you want to perform explicit dynamic simulation then you have to double click on explicit dynamic simulation and in the previous video i will i have explained how the boundary condition are working in explicit dynamics so in this video we are uh, we will only brief about the uh, boundary condition for a soda uh, soda crushing soda can crushing right so for this can, I have given the thickness of 0.1 mm and I will keep it a flexible. Second one is my the object which is come down in a minus y direction. You can see that for, from the coordinate system, it will come down like this. So this will, this should be a rigid part. And second one is my die part, which is a fixture with the baked fixture and the soda, uh, soda can is uh, in the contact with my fixtures so yes so in the connection you have to apply the body interaction between uh, these three three geometries right so if there is no contact then you can click on the body interaction you can uh, select those all all bodies part and you can click it okay right so i have selected okay then you can go to the explicit dynamics and you can apply the velocity or the displacement so i have already given the fixed support to this part uh, you can see that this one okay and the displacement i have given to this this geometry this object so you can click on the in uh, edit part and also i want to move this in a y direction so how i will move it in the y direction i i have added a tabular data so how the tabular data is actually working uh, let's say I have setting the analysis uh, time that is my end time is a 0 0.0006 and at that time my displacement should be like uh, at, at the end of the can so it can uh, deform and can uh, interpret the results the better results so I have selected in a tabular data you can go to the tabular data and you can edit as a zero time zero step, step time there will be no displacement but at the end of uh, at the analysis end time the deformation will be is a minor, minus 17 so it will automatically select the velocity of this object you have the distance you have the time so it will calculate the velocities and at a particular velocity it will come down and then i have selected uh, the stress and deformation plots whatever you plots want to use right so these are the results i am getting after performing after giving this kind of boundary condition so it is very simple like if you want to interpret the results very in very high resolution video so you can click on the 10 second and also the sec uh, 100 frames right so also you can click ok and it will something look like yes this one yes and also you can click on the stress plot so you can clearly see how the stress uh, is generating over here over the part and also if you don't want to uh, see the colors so you can click over here and go to the solid field so it will give you a solid part if you want to wireframe then it will show as a wireframe yes 
and I will click OK. It's getting stuck somehow. Yes. Okay. Now you can see how the my the finer the machine you have meshing you have the finer the results will interpret right the and the animation will be a cool stuff for you yes so that's all these are the boundary condition you can use in in your explicit dynamic simulation and thank you for watching and keep sharing keep supporting